In light of all the stuff that's going on nowadays, now that it's finally spring and we're involved in the beer flu now and I can no longer go do the car content like I used to do in Chicago and car shows obviously aren't going to happen, we're going to have to figure out a way to incorporate this more into the vlogs to try to keep you guys entertained while you're either doing your essential jobs or sheltering in place. So we're going to have to transition the channel a little bit to be more of a shop and more of a truck. We'll figure out how to make that work. Tonight we're going to head and fire it up. We're going to go pick up a load in the morning, deliver it, and bring you guys along with us. See what kind of content I could do with my other job. Let's get at it, huh? This when guys use yard horses, which are the trucks you back up under the trailer and the fifth wheel raises up, you don't have to mess with the dolly legs. I'm a little bit of a big guy, and that ain't much of a gap to squeeze in there. There's not much room in here, so I gotta think we're skinny stuff in here because whoever put this trailer didn't think that you know big guys might not fit.
trying to fuel her up. Seems a little silly nowadays wearing a mask and all, but you think about it, a good friend of mine, Billy Schultz, he's been all over the news in Milwaukee. While I was working on my truck, he was driving and he came back really sick from picking up the coronavirus out there in uh, New York, Detroit, Baltimore, wherever the heck he went. He came back sick within a day. He went to the ER to a ventilator. Like he cascaded in less than 12 hours. He's doing much better now. He's expected to actually go home, but it was hit or miss for a little bit whether he'd come back so now that i'm back on the road we ain't taking no chances man the gloves are just to keep the diesel off me we got the hand sanitizer now and obviously we got the masks hey man that's just the way it is now you gotta you gotta deal with it and survive i'm just glad i wasn't on the road before i was able to get any uh, personal protective equipment but yeah here we are i'm just glad my buddy billy's feeling a lot better now about 130 gallons each side 130 usable it's really about 150 a side but you ain't getting that last 20 gallons out without stalling
me on. No, it really isn't that difficult. If you got a truck version on, like look up front here. Look up front here. If you got a truck version on and you got room to move over, I mean, I'm not going to catch up to him before he gets on anyway. But if I was up next to him and I got the lane next to me open, move over a little bit, give the guy room. Some of these guys out here just, they don't have any courtesy. They don't drive right. They have no clue. I don't know where to get these. I don't know where to get their CDLs from, to be honest. I wake up, flex, I'm down that check. No trip, this tell them run it on. No sleep, no rest. Might crash, might wreck. But first die, stretch. And I'm running off. I wake up, flex, I'm down that check. No drip, this whack. Tell them run it off. No sleep, no rest. Might crash, might wreck. But first die, stretch. Tell them run it off. I got the tan through my hands, I'm by my lonely. Turn to a savage, now my baby wants to hold me. I love my fans, don't need no friends, I got my homies. Thought I could trust you, I find out you tried to zone me I'm number one up on that court, I'm Nick McGrady The first one in, the last one out, can't call me lazy Put in my hours, send the invoice and they pay me I need six rings like MJ and Tom Brady 